Hello, Eating for Energy Challenge participants. Today is day four. Two more days to go in this challenge. You're doing so great keeping up with all the different challenges. Way to go. Okay, so day four. Today's challenge is all about two beautiful pulses, lentils and chickpeas. And lentils can be of any type, red, brown, green, black. There are lots of lentils, different lentil types to choose from. And the challenge today is to incorporate either lentils or chickpeas into one of your meals today. And the reason why I chose these two pulses is because they are both so great for energy and they also have additional benefits for weight loss. So starting with lentils. Lentils have some of the highest iron content of any plant source. And as many of you know, iron is key to our energy. Without enough iron, if our iron levels are low, then our energy can dip and we may not have enough energy to do what we'd like. And lentils also have a high amount of fiber and a high amount of protein. Both lentils and chickpeas have great amounts of fiber and protein. And protein is really fantastic for our energy too because we need enough protein in our diet in order to help recuperate and build our cells. That is what helps rebuild our muscles when we exercise and it also helps rebuild all of our cells on the cellular level as well. So we really need to make sure that we're eating enough protein in order to have enough energy. And then fiber, I've been talking a lot about fiber this week and it's because fiber is key to helping our digestive system and when our digestive system is working well then that helps boost our energy because it doesn't it means that there's not a lot of additional energy going towards our digest, digestion which can eat up our energy and make it not as available for other things that we want to pursue in our life so both chickpeas and lentils are fantastic sources of fiber and protein and they're also able to help control insulin levels and blood sugar levels so helping stabilize our energy and give us steady energy for hours after we consume them so that we don't have energy levels that go up and down and dipping high and dipping low. What we want to aim for throughout the day is stable energy levels that allow us to have a meal, enjoy it, and then not be hungry immediately thereafter. So we can sustain our energy for three, four, or maybe even five hours, depending on your activity level, your metabolism, and your need for energy. So that is your dietary component of today's challenge is to add in some of those lentils or chickpeas. I've given you a recipe to try so you can use that or you can try something different as you would like. And the second part of the challenge, the intuitive eating part of the challenge is to start getting in tune with your timing of your meals. Are you waiting to eat until you're ravenous or are you timing your meals to make sure that you're eating when you start to ex see those signals that your body is giving you that you're starting to get hungry. The ideal is that you eat your meal before you get ravenous so that you can plan your meal appropriately and make sure that you're eating the best nutrition for yourself. Often if we let ourselves get to that ravenous point when we're too hungry and then we start thinking about, oh, what am I gonna eat and what is available for me? It makes it more difficult to make those healthy choices and it makes it easier to make those choices that are not as healthy. We end up grabbing what's close, what's convenient, what we're craving, what may taste the best for us. So ideally we want to try to plan to eat before we get too hungry. And the second part of that is stopping eating when we are no longer hungry. So when your body give you the, gives you those signals that, oh, I'm not hungry anymore, you've satisfied my energy needs, then that is a point that we want to stop eating. If we go beyond that, if we get over full, then that's another drain on our energy because that means again that a lot of extra energy is having to go to our digestion and that is not available for the rest of our living. So that's today's tip is to pay attention to your hunger signals and to your fullness singles signals and start eating. Make sure that you're eating before you get too ravenous and stop eating when you're satisfied and no longer hungry so you don't get over full. 
Okay, and again, remember to post your experiences with today's challenge on your personal Facebook page, tag at Rejuvenize Health Coaching. I can't wait to hear about your experiences with today's challenge. And also again, post any comments or questions in the Facebook group. We'd love to hear from you and interact with you there as well. Until tomorrow, talk then. Bye-bye for now.